verse 2. By swearing, by swearing, and, by lying, by, read, and lying, and lying, and read, killing, and killing, and do stealing. Do we not kill each other on the daily? Do we not fight over blocks that we don't own? Oh, this out. is every day. Out. You fighting over streets that you have no ownership over. Teach. This is my block. I run this. No, you don't. The white man run this block. Bring it out. You don't run anything. Bring Why? Because you don't keep the laws of God. Read. Right. And stealing. And stealing. Everything that was a... What do we do? When we ain't got the money, what are we going to do? We're going to steal it. Why? Because we have no fear of God. That's Bring right. Read. And committing adultery. That's a big thing in the black and Hispanic communities. Sleeping with other men's wives. Sleeping with sisters. Leaving them with babies. That's what we are known for. Give me that in uh, Proverbs and the Bible. Give me that. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37. Read. Read and thou shalt become an astonishment. An astonishment. Meaning, damn, look at them over there. Look at them over there. That's how all the nations look at us. They don't look at us as royalty. They look at us as slaves, because that's what we are to this day. We serving them. Read. A proverb and a byword. A proverb and a byword. You want to hide anything from a Negro, where do you put it? In a book. These are proverbs and byword that we are known for in the black and Hispanic communities. Read. Among all nations, where the Lord shall lead thee. Read. Read again. And thou shalt become an astonishment a proverb and a byword among all nations where the Lord shall lead thee. Among all nations, no matter where you go, if you get a black and Hispanic that go there, they got a name for you. Okay? They got a name for you. But why? Why? Give me Jeremiah 5 and 25. Give me Jeremiah 5 and 25. Because we don't want to keep the laws of God. The laws of God are not hard to keep. But because we don't keep the laws of God, this is what happens. Give me that. Jeremiah 5 and 25. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 25. Read. Your iniquities have turned away these things. Your iniquities have turned away the kingdom of God. We are not in the kingdom of God because of our iniquities today. Teach. Read. And your sins have withholden good things from you. The good thing is the land of Israel. We don't have that. We over here serving our enemies. This is prison. We serving a time sentence. And guess what? Out of this prison, only one third are going to get out. Some of us love it here. Some of us love being on the bottom. I ain't got no problem being on the bottom as long as I can get my little money, get a little weed and smoke it. I'm good. That's how a lot of us are. A lot of us don't want to return back to the ruling nation that we were. From the top again. From the top again. Your iniquities have turned away these things. Turned away all these things. So now we serve different, now you serve different gods. Now you serve the white man, you serve the African man, you serve all the other nations, but God, read. And your sins have withholden good things from you. Right, give me 1 Corinthians 10 and 20. 1 Corinthians 10 and 20. Cause we gonna show you. Cause you got, you got Northern Kingdom down here selling uh, idols. This is what I, Northern Kingdom was known for, give me that. Book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 20. Read. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, uh -huh. they sacrifice to devils. You sacrifice to devils. White Jesus is a devil. Bring it out. All right. The Roman Christian or the Roman Catholic Church is the devil. Bring it out. Read. They sacrifice to devils and not to God. And you sacrifice not to God because you don't keep the commandments. Hey, sis, you got a question? You got a question? Okay, you just listen. Okay, all right. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What's your nationality according to the Bible? Here, come around the side. Let me show you the sign. What do you see yourself? The nationality means race, okay? What do you see? Hispanic? Okay, so you are Mexican, right? So you, your father would be from the tribe of Issacar. Right. right. Now, let me ask you a question. Um, do you do you consider the so-called Mexicans are uh, at the top or at the bottom of society? Give me that in the head to tail. United States, yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Because why? Why? We don't we don't own nothing here, right? What do we do? We we, we work. We uh, uh uh we try to buy property. At the end of the day, we don't own none of that stuff. Because why? We don't own the land that it's on. You used to remember? I think Mexico all the way up to California. All that was considered Mexico. But what happened? The so-called white man came and took all that. Why do you do that? It took all that. Now it's, they consider it their land, right? And they tell y'all what? Go back to Mexico? Why don't they go back to Europe? Or the Caucasus Mountains, for fact. 
Give me that. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 44. Watch this, watch this. Read. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. So, when he came over here, everything that you want, you have to get it from the so-called white man. Same thing for me. If I want anything, I got to go to them. Read. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. They going to be at the top, and we going to be at the bottom. We going to be at the bottom. That's what the Bible is saying. I know, look, watch this. I'm going to prove to you that you said you said you're from, so you'll be from the tribe of Issachar, correct? All right, watch this. Give me uh, Genesis 49, verse 14, I think. I think that's it. We're going to prove it. We're going to prove that you're from the tribe of Issachar according to the Bible, all right? Watch this, because our history is Bible history. Mexican history, Bible history, black history, Bible history. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, and verse 14. Issachar is a strong ass. Read. Couching between two burdens. Now think about it. When y'all come over here, it says crouch between two burdens. That's uh, long work hours and low wages. Right? Because a lot of, of, of y'all come over here, y'all don't have... Y'all got to work under the table and stuff like that. Y'all got to take the lowest paying job. I'm not saying that to say to down you. That's facts, right? It says that. It says that. Read it again. Read it again. I don't want to butcher it. It's a car. It's a strong ass. A strong ass. Read. Couching down between two burdens. The two burdens is the low wages and the long hours. No more work. What do you know what it's a car means? It's a car means he is hired. So everybody know. Everybody know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all work hard. Y'all some hard working people. Am I correct or am I wrong? Notice how the Bible is describing the so-called Mexicans. Read. And he saw that rest was good. Five and... Okay, gotcha. Read. And he saw that rest was good. What do y'all got? What do y'all call that? It's called uh, siestas? Yeah. Y'all y'all take a, uh, like a nap. What is it called? A siesta. Read that again. Watch this. And he saw that rest was good. So Northern Kingdom, you saw that rest was good. Y'all call them siestas today. What verse is that? Where you at? Verse 15. Okay, give me Lamentations 5 and uh, verse 1. Watch this. Watch this. Like I said, your history is Bible history, all right? Everything that y'all went through is Bible. Everything we went through is Bible. That's right. Watch this. Read. The book of Lamentations, chapter 5 and verse 1. Bring it up. Remember, O Lord, what is come upon us. Read. Consider and behold our reproach. Read. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. This was your inheritance. All this you see before you was y'all's. Bring it out. It was all of y'all's. But what happened? Y'all supposed to come over here and keep the laws of God, but that didn't happen. We just read earlier in 2nd Ezra. Y'all don't think you was here for that. Y'all supposed to come over here and keep the laws, but what happened? Y'all started worshiping idols. The conquistadors, the Spaniards, they came over here and conquered the land. Now this land, this land that used to be y'all's is not, not ours no more, right? You gotta pay taxes on land that used to be yours. Bring it that, that's jacked up, ain't it? Is that it on that? Anything else on that? Our inheritance is turned to strangers and our houses to aliens. So, you ain't the illegal aliens. Who, the so-called white man is the illegal alien. That's right. right! This is your land. This is what they took. All right? Now, what, what's going on at the border? Do you know? You don't know what's going on at the border? How they got, they got so-called Mexican kids in cages. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's still going on. Go ahead, watch this. That's Bible. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Is, is that not happening? Is that not happening down there at the border of Mexico? They are taking our sons and our daughters. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So and there's no way you can get them back. They're saying they don't even know who these kids belong to. They lost the paperwork for them. That's, that's, that's only happening to our people. Look how the Bible curses is correlating what's happening today that's with right. our people. That's right. Right. Give me that in, uh, what is it, 46? going to be on us forever. Give me that. Give me that. Because the these curses is not going to lift until we come back and keep the commandments. That's right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. What's a sign? How do you know... How do you know that this is a crosswalk? Right there at the corner. How do you know this is a crosswalk? It's a sign, right? So it's something that you visually see. So, read that again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. For a sign and? And for a wonder. And a wonder. So you're going to see these signs and these curses upon our people and be like, damn, those are truly, those got to be the Israelites. 
That's right. All right, now watch this. Um, right. Now, I'm gonna show you something. So with us knowing that you Israel, you have to keep the laws of God. I'm gonna show you something. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 20, uh, 22, 22 and five. All so right. you have to keep the laws of God. You wanna make it to the kingdom of heaven, right? First, give me that first. Me the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, So if you want to keep the command, if you want to make it to the kingdom of heaven, Christ is telling you how to get there. This is very important. Listen. But if thou wilt enter into life, Keep the commandments. That's how you get the kingdom of heaven. You keep the commandments of God. All right? Used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.